garbage bag full of popcorn podcast. Kyle, did you finish 40 days and 40 nights? Yeah, I finished it. I can't believe you had seen it that many times. Like, that was a blockbuster staple that I just never rented. Tyler, have you seen it? Honestly, this is probably something that I watched at, like, a sleepover or something at some point in, like, my middle school years. Uh, I, sleepover. I, <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. Me and the boys. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a sex movie, you know? You can watch it a lot of middle school, high school. Yeah. It's written uh, by a middle school boy is what it feels like. Yeah, I mean, it feels very contemporary to a, but probably a level down from American Pie and something of that caliber. It, so, all right, I'll start with my notes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wh- why is this movie? <laughs> like, like what? It's never clear to me, and maybe you can help because I I've oftentimes will miss like a key scene that explains the plot in 30 seconds. Well, before but, you like, get into it, I was half watching because I was also watching the Dodgers and I was also making dinner. So, <laughs> but you've seen the movie a okay. hundred times. You've seen yeah, the movie that's why. Times. Yeah, yeah, maybe okay, you can help you. me. Maybe well, you can like help a, me. Well, you're saying a detail, a detail. No, no, no. Just, just like why is the movie like, like I was never clear on like why he is there's no stakes like what they try to add the internet pool pot thing going on but like why does he not want to have sex like for what 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 reason yeah i don't know <laughs> all right thanks for coming yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good show, guys. Is no. he like, isn't he seeing things isn't he like seeing a uh no it's like but well, the, the the reason that they try to explain is that the the chick that he was dating is now getting married and now and he's smashing all these these chicks he's having one night stands with these chicks and and then he sees something religious and his brother is a a priest you know with the 40 days and 40 nights and he has the brilliant idea to kind of mix the two uh i don't know yeah Yeah. that part was very bizarre to me because I feel like there was a rash of movies in the 90s where, like, religion was an element to it. There's, like, that Ben yeah. Stiller oh, movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew you were going to say that Keeping one. Keeping the Faith Keeping or the something. Faith, yeah. Yeah. And this had very similar, like, Catholic tone to it where it was like, no, he, he, can't, he can't have sex because he, he gave it up for Lent. And it's like, who cares? You meet <laughs> uh, whatever, Shannon Sossaman. Awesome. Guess what? You're hammering. Yeah. Like yeah. There, there's no there's no lint like you're hammering. <laughs> and it's awesome and it's unbelievable. That's what I kept laughing at, like where he's like, I'm still so brokenhearted about the chick from Corky Romano, but I met this uh, way, 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 way more attractive chick. I just don't know what to do. She's the chick from Hocus Pocus for me. Yeah, yeah. The third <laughs> chick, the, the chick that's not Bette Midler or Sarah Jessica Parker. No, she's the. <laughs> oh, that, she, other, yeah. that chick's wretched too. Fuck, I forgot. Okay. No, you think about the, like, you the voice of Peggy Hill? Yeah, no, she's from. No, that it's chick's Whitney from like Murphy. No, no, the third, okay, the, no. The third Hocus Pocus it's, witch is the lady from like my big fat Greek wedding. Yeah. Isn't it? Yes, no, that's, yes, that's yes. the voice of Peggy Hill. Oh, that lady is from Rat Race. She's uh, John yeah, Lovett's yeah. wife from, from okay. Rat Race. But Isn't she in my big fat Greek wedding? Anyway, anyway, the I chick forgot how from, we got to this. Anyway, the chick from Forty Days and Forty Nights is I said from Hocus Pocus. She's the one with the with the little kids. She's the one who's running around with them. Like, she's, yeah, she's like the babysitter or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Mary Sanderson. <laughs> oh, okay, Samsonite. I don't. Yeah, I definitely am thinking of a different chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotcha. you're right. She does voice the voice Peggy Hill. But yeah, that that was like the the most baffling thing, where it was like, okay, but any reasonable person would be like, okay, like fuck that thing I was doing. Like this chick's massive. Like why? Like get twenty minute movie. Hey, Met Shannon Shossaman, and 
40, like, 40 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, yeah, if this movie was based off of me, if I was Josh Hart and his character, the second Shin Sosmo was on screen, the credits would have rolled. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ryan, have you ever seen? I think we've talked about this before. Rules of Attraction. That's the uh, that's the movie with uh, American Psycho tie-in. Dude, uh, Brandy uh, Brandy Brandy Stanellis, Roger Avery. Dude, I have never seen that, but I thought for some reason, I swear to God, this is like blockbuster streams crossing. I was like, wait, isn't there one where Josh Hartnett is like on a boat and it's 40 days and 40 nights? I thought it was on a fucking boat. No, and well, I was, no. he's in he's oh. in 30 days of night, which is in Alaska. And that's the vampire movie, which is actually kind of sick. What happened to Josh Hartnett? He just like went away. <laughs> that was like 30 days of 40 days of night. And it's just like. A, a vampire sex movie. <laughs> I'm sensing a trend here with Josh Harnett movies. Yeah. <laughs> There's always a sexual component to it. Ho He's always Hollywood, hammering. Hollywood didn't have a need anymore for guys with icicle bangs. Dude, For yeah. 40 days of 30 days of night. The, the icicle bangs thing is baffling because like it, it makes no sense i was like that, 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 that's what i was telling to viv i was like this guy is so attractive that they're like let's give him the freaking penis caesar do and see if it still works and chicks are still like oh, i'll hammer this guy oh yeah <laughs> like, hey i don't care i don't care this guy's got a dick on his head i'm going <laughs> those bangs are intentionally gelled down it's bizarre like I, 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 the whole time I was like, and he's doing this weird voice where it's like, he's trying to be like, like smultry, like, like deep lusty voice. And I was like, wait, we just watched the faculty and he was not talking like this. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. going to bring up the faculty to you, Ryan. Too. Yeah. That's classic. <laughs> like classic. that movie is actually really good and really cool. And That's that was his Robert, first Robert movie. Rodriguez. First movie. And I guess Usher. no one had given in the memo to talk like a weirdo. Like, hey, I'm a sex icon now, so I talk like this, and I always say, <laughs> I'm Josh Hartnett. I can barely get my lines out. Uh, yeah, it was super <laughs> weird. Uh, God, yeah, that's, yeah. The, uh, that's that's the uh, the stickers. Do, do you like stickers? Which is, like, one of the craziest parts. Ever. There's, there's no I, – I wasn't understanding the entire movie, like – like, and I get it, right? Like, because he's now going with no sex, but then also like, okay, no masturbation too. And there's a scene where the the roommate comes in with like a black light and is like, just making sure. And it's like, what the fuck do you care? Like, what? what, what? Like, why? Yeah, why are you yeah. involved? <laughs> yeah, he's to, he's yeah. he's he's the inside man for all the uh, for all the other guys. But I, uh, I only know that guy from a uh, road trip. Uh, he's in, he's like the dork guy, right? He's dork friend of ever in every yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. He's typecast. But what, for what, for whatever reason, he is a ladies man in this one. He can just get all the, he's always like, we got two sweetest ch twins coming in. You down? And he's like, no, I'm, I'm taking my vow or whatever. It's, it's so bizarre. He looks like, like he looks like Jerry Seinfeld and like, uh, what's that Arquette Arquette from Pulp Fiction and, uh, like, like put Alexis. Together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Arquette I know I've had days. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got to get back in there. They're about to kill George. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get back in there. They're starting to turn on George. <laughs> <laughs> There's one, even before they start betting, like uh, one of his, co first of all, every coworker is some massive chick that is like the hottest chick you've ever seen. They all work with And sex depraved. All and of sex them. depraved. And so all of them want to have sex constantly. That's why I said this movie was written by a 13-year-old where it's like, and then she comes in and she photocopies her ass. You know, it's like, all right. <laughs> I got an idea. <laughs> oh, 
gay. And then she flashes her nipples a little bit, which is well, also a scene. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, it, that one was directed by uh, Michael Lehman, I think, and uh, he did Airheads. <clears throat> He, wow. The guy who directed 40 Days and 40 Nights? Yes. That's wow. quite, quite, quite a... Yeah, about to say, <laughs> quite a downgrade. Well, that's the only one I wrote down, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he did, oh, he did Heathers, that's right, because, like, Heathers was, like, his big movie, and after they he did this one, they were like... They're like, yeah, he's uh, he's on a he's on a slippery slope <laughs> going down. That actually explains so much yeah. because you could make the case that Josh Harnett is doing a Christian Slater impersonation the yeah. whole movie. <laughs> His best. <laughs> His best. <laughs> this is the best he could do. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it, like, and then like, they're in. There's like a coffee shop scene where the girls are wearing clothes that no one would wear ever where it's like no bras and you're like what is this it, it just seems like a bizarre fantasy well it, of well, someone. well it also had a rape scene in it so you can you can uh, chop that one up too boy. did what did 40 days and 40 nights at the when he's, oh when, yeah when he's the ending. Up. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They just the Wikipedia breezes over that, like you know. And then he's raped by his ex girlfriend. It's it's a casual rape. Yeah, very convenient. What? In the early two thousands, there was casual rape. The the debate was still up for the grabs whether you could rape men or not. And uh, you know, Forty Days and Forty Nights addresses that very tastefully. (laughs) I think that was the only scene I remember. Is, mm, is that yeah. he ends up having it taken? Mm. Does he get to forty days and forty nights before she rapes him? I no, think it's I think that's right it. In, I, think it like, I think it was like right before or or, or right, right after. Uh, it was like yeah. midnight or some shit. Yeah. It was you know these are critical oh, plot details. Oh, that's the scene the you remember. Way? Don't they kind of don't they kind of leave it up to like oh they don't know what time she. I, I literally asshole. just watched it minutes it ago, <laughs> and I and I'm just like ah, I don't know. It was right before. After. Yeah, <laughs> they left it like Inception. You're not sure if it's real. Or not. <laughs> it's open ended. It's a totem that just keeps on spinning. I on black his out on his the last ninety minutes. That's the scene you remember, Tyler. That's where everybody at the sleepover went to their little corner of yeah. the basement. Oh yeah, <laughs> and had some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, but they didn't show enough. They didn't show enough in the movie for us. That to... was what was weird for how raunchy and like insane this movie is. There wasn't as much graphic like nudity as I was expecting. Like Not... the the most graphic was like him there's a scene where he's trying to put fake semen in a condom that's where this movie really went off the rails like five minutes in i was like whoa Mm -hmm. this is like heavy duty crazy guy stuff like (laughs) (laughs) he's putting glue in a condom (laughs) (laughs) for for shannon sossaman was this before or after a knight's tale was everybody just downgrading i think before i think i don't know Cause where'd she go? Like oh. I was, cause I was kind of like, cause Viv knew who she was, and was like, oh, Saint Shannon's awesome, and like me and Sarai love that chick, blah blah blah. And I was like, I've never seen her, but I'd like to see more. Yeah, uh, I I know where I wish she would have went. But yeah. I well, know where, I don't know where she went. Though. Well, Danny Danny is obsessed with Heath Ledger, so we've seen A Knight's Tale a billion times, and uh, I've seen Rules of Attraction a million times too. And oh, I'm I've wrong. also Night seen 40 Days and 40 Nights a, a bunch of times. Why do I feel like so, so, A Night's Tale was so much later? But yeah, Rules of Attraction. Well, after those three, after those three, I think she kind of went on a hiatus and then Ooh. did a bunch of like indie stuff. I don't know. I'm only really She's familiar with all those types three. of shit that I have never heard yeah. of ever. Yeah, I, I I've been following her career very closely this is crazy yeah I'd say i've been they were following back. her very closely so back to back to back she went night's tale 40 days 40 nights rules of attraction yeah and that's probably the only notable run of her entire I've never career seen this 
Yeah, I definitely have never seen this. I swear there was a movie where it was like Josh Harnett and like fucking Sandra Bullock on a boat. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Boat trip. I thought this fucking movie was on a boat, is what I'm trying to say. And it, when it wasn't. Was Cuba in it? <laughs> it was Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. Josh Hartman's getting blown by Cuba. That was basically like the the premise was like Josh Harnett fucks and he fucks so much that he actually gives up fucking because it's just like he's it's too, just too easy too, it's too easy, too easy. it's he won. too mundane he chicks won. just see him anywhere and they just are like let's go yeah. <laughs> but uh, well, well, to uh, if you want to uh, segue over to a movie that Tyler is familiar with. Uh, just go with it, which is kind of a weird, oh my uh, intimate movie for the three of us. Kind of a weird, <laughs> like we got, we all got a weird connection. Like the three of us got kind of a weird connection to that movie. This right? was this was <laughs> honestly for me. This is like it, it's a running joke at this point. But this movie was kind of the beginning of like Ryan putting us on to like comically terrible movies. Like this is like the original stages of that, and this was well, one of the ones I, that was just. Kyle, I gotta know what are you referring to? I am, I am blank as to what you were referring to. I said, just go with it. No, I know. Why is it a intimate connection between the I don't three? Know. Of us? I just feel like it's like this movie that's like, <laughs> it's like terrible, but like, but, but we love like, it. But yeah, but it's like great. we we always talk about it all the time. Because like, oh no, it has so much to go off of. Like if it, I did, if I did, if I did a top ten Adam Sandler, I don't know if that would be in my top ten. I don't think I would. I'd. I, I don't know. I'd have to think. It about definitely it. would because there isn't ten good ones. Yeah, right? yeah. And this no, one, I don't this know. One okay, well, okay, okay. Well, would it be in the okay. top five? I'd put it happy, that way. happy Gilmore. In no particular order. In no particular order. Kind of close. Of course. Happy Gilmore. Yes. Billy Madison. Yeah. Big Daddy. Okay. Longest Water Yard. Boy. Yeah. Water Boy. That's yeah. five. Yeah. Uh, what am I missing in the nineties? There, Wedding uh, Singer. Wedding, wedding singer, singer, of course. So that's uh, six. Uh, I'll put Little Nicky probably ahead of Just Go with it. I put Little Nicky on there. <laughs> yeah, little Nicky's ahead of it, Airheads, and uh, then yeah. you get. It's is not Airheads really. really an Adam I don't really Sandler Adam Sandler movie. Sandler yeah. movie. That's a Fair. Brendan Fraser movie. Fair, yeah, okay. Um, the Whale. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I mean, you're not going to put Uncut Gems in there. Uh, yeah, Punch Drunk Love. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean real movies like no, 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 you know, no. no there's Anderson. definitely one. There's definitely one that I'm forgetting what he's kind of later on. That's like not bad. Uh, Click. Mm, <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't know, Ryan. I think that's I'm like stuck. not even a comedy. Uh, um, Hotel did. Transylvania. <laughs> we're, we're stuck. <laughs> Probably be a lot easier if I looked it up. Uh, Chuck and Larry? No, we're trying to go through it. Chuck and Larry is, is played so bad. I, I, we could do uh, an episode about that movie. It's bad. I wonder how it ages. It's been a while. I've actually never seen it. I was for, I had it forced upon me by my old roommate. Uh, all the Grown Ups movies I would put below... Near unwatchable. Um, near? I've never watched them, so yeah. Oh, 50 First Dates. Okay. I was okay. going to say that one, yeah. Mr. Deeds. Oh, oh Mr. Mr. Deeds okay. is yeah. the one yeah. I was yeah, thinking yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. I Mr. knew Deeds there was one. Good. That yeah, was Mr. the one Deeds that I was thinking so of, good. for sure. It was Mr. Deeds, 100%. Okay. I yeah, knew yeah. that there was like the, a really good one that we were missing, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much... I mean, uh, anger management... Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, I yeah. actually did like like yeah. I we in the so theater, there you go. This scene, there's ten, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it goes at like eleven. Uh, Jack and Jill. Uh, <laughs> no, there the scene where where Adam Sandler has to go over to the hot chick, or is that Heather Graham? Yeah, hey, go over to Heather Graham and be like, I'm on the verge of exploding in my pants, and Jack's going. <laughs> No, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Behind him, yeah. me and Shay laughed so fucking hard, like in the theater. 
uh, seeing that movie, like that that exact scene, I will always remember. <laughs> That's so it funny. It was just so funny. And yeah, what's same. funny is like, like literally, saying I didn't. Re what's funny is like I was young enough because it came out in two thousand thirteen or two thousand three. Like I remember being like, I'm not even really sure what that means like what exploding in your pants means but i just thought it was hilarious <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny because i definitely remember my mom like let me and my brother kind of run off to go see our own movie while they she saw whatever movie she wanted to see and we saw anger management i i definitely remember that <laughs> that's funny but uh dude uh, so just go with it is like because I love we all love Nick Swartzen, of course, and you know he carries the movie. It's not even close. But like and like that's like if he wasn't in it, there there wouldn't be uh, like a, it, it, a, a a return. No, if he oh, wasn't yeah, in no. it, we would have never watched it again. It's, it wouldn't be as cold. It would, it would have the it would novelty just be, factor. Yeah, it would just be one of those like blended with yeah. the Drew Barrymore, right? Where it's yeah. just, you know exactly what it is. It's, you know, Adam Sandler with female co-star and blah, blah, blah. They're going to fall in love for some reason, <laughs> right? Like that's all it would be. But Swartzen adds this insane, <laughs> like, like what, what would you call that? Absurdist humor to it where it's yes. like, it makes no sense, but that's what's great. Like that he... They made up a name Dolph Lundgren, and then it, made and, and up, it's, made it's up. kind of smart, right? It, it, it's not smart, <laughs> it's, a, it's, but, a, it's a made up name. It made yeah, it up. Like, no, they didn't steal it from another like, movie. No, no, they, they, <laughs> they, he, he thinks of Rocky while he's making up a name of her new boyfriend, and you think that that's a one-off joke, and then they actually pay it off, which is bizarre because usually new Mo Adam Sandler movies don't pay off anything. They just say we he got punched in the nuts and that's <laughs> the the funny uh but then he shows up at the airport and you're like okay i'm into this like ridiculous character and then they kind of just keep going with it no pun intended uh yeah. yeah it's great i mean i mean there's definitely a border between you know talking about <laughs> like animal sexual shit you know but like oh pg-13 yeah. are like the type of art uh, audience that you're going for she like likes that. to shave the sheep <laughs> dude i actually did not realize that the director was doug from happy gilmore oh uh, yeah right? it's dennis, uh, dennis dugan. dugan yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i didn't know what he looked like and i was like oh <laughs> that's doug <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm not, Doug. <laughs> this man is destroying golf. <laughs> I mean, from the jump, Swartzen's character is ridiculous because they say that because Adam Sandler's character is a plastic surgeon. Yeah. And then they, and then they say that he gave Nick Swartzen a dick well, extension. Well, dude, you're right. Well, you're well, right. He's funny so, before he's the character. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want. That's what I want to get into real quick, too, is the beginning of the movie sets it up where it's like um like like oh, okay his wife's cheating on him so he's he's sulking at the bar and he has the ring and the hottest chick ever comes into the bar everyone's talking Minka to her kelly you know she yeah she sits she sits right next to him you know oh she sees the ring oh my wife's cheating on me he's got the big old nose oh my wife's cheating on me whatever uh she feels bad for him and then takes him home and and then that's when he realizes that that's going to be his play every single time and then he becomes a surgeon he does then he's just an ugly dude with a regular wait, nose wait, and then whoa, 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 hold on a second hold on a second and then and then and then so he gets to the next chick he does the same thing with the next chick where she goes he goes oh yeah my wife's cheating on me and she goes oh yeah and then he sleeps with her hottest chick in the bar then he's at the that party the kevin newland party and brooklyn decker comes hottest chick at the party comes and talks to him no mention of the ring, no mention of anything, goes <laughs> to the beach, they fuck. So the whole setup for him using the ring to get hot chicks make has no bearing with the with the main character chick whatsoever. She finds it later on afterwards. She knows she, he's a plastic surgeon though. 
Like, <laughs> but that's what we, I think we said that last pod, right? Where we're like, Kevin Nealon's character is like, I was hoping you two would meet. Yeah. Why? <laughs> like like you were hoping this 23 year old supermodel yeah. would meet this old man. <laughs> yeah. 50 year old plastic surgeon. No, and they're trying to this chick, like, this chick who needs no plastic surgery at all. But <laughs> Kyle, I was gonna say in that first scene that you're referencing with Minka Kelly, former Mrs. Jeter, uh was is uh fucking Peter Dante comes up to her and goes, Hey, do you play the trumpet? Because you're making me all horny and stuff. <laughs> just like just perverted over to the side. <laughs> and then and then uh what's his name? Uh Log Laughlin or Logren, his his buddy, the, yeah, the cross eyed yeah. guy in yeah. uh Waterboy, is like he's like, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he's just screaming wildly at a hot chick. <laughs> Very relatable. Very relatable. <laughs> <laughs> But that's like we used to do similar shit. Like I remember being at like stupid bars or like you know second floor or whatever in Huntington, and like you know whatever you see a group of girls walk in and one of them's attractive and just like if you're hammered you'd be like with you're with uh, us like a group of friends and be like what <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah super yeah. loud yeah. like oh yeah. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Did, did somebody drop a, a Did somebody drop a drink? Oh, oh no. No. See, so you just walked in. Whoa! <laughs> no, but I was like, I was like, the whole setup of the ring thing. They like, why even do that? Because you can still do that with her. They just didn't do it. No. Nah, like nah, it's still, it still it, 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 it wouldn't work. <laughs> it didn't work thematically. And they got like, get down to the beach. Nice and, and, and hammer. And he, like, shows up at her school, which is super creepy and, like, makes no sense in, like, today's day and age either, where it's, like, they don't just let random guys walk onto campus yes. and start who interacting look, with kids. Who, who look like that. <laughs> yeah. Who look like Adam Sandler. Very, yeah. Oh, he's got flowers. He doesn't have a machine gun. Like, you know, it's fine. He's trying to hit on our 22-year-old third grade teacher. It's f- totally cool. Like, what? <laughs> And, and Every, just, everything you're doing is reportable. <laughs> <laughs> the whole premise where she's like, I actually love the fact that you were, we were married and have kids. I love kids. It's just like, what? Yeah. In what world? Yeah, yeah I, I love it. It's just, it, it's a premise that makes no sense, but it is held up by just these like, it. It's not a slog of a movie. It like moves and you're like, no, all right, was, whatever. I was laughing at the part where he's, uh, you know, Jennifer Aniston like agrees to do the whole, you know, ru- ruse with him. And so he, he, she, she's like, well, I, I got to wear, I got to wear all these nice clothes. And so she, she, she buys her, he's, he, no, he's telling her that you have to buy, mm-hmm. I have to buy you all the nice clothes because that's how my wife would be. And then she puts on the act never to be seen ever again she does the act <laughs> she does the sleazy wife act one time never to be seen ever again then she just and plays they go on it. vacation together yeah. yeah then she just plays it jennifer aniston the whole time yeah. but <laughs> but i just love the fact of him being like I, I gotta buy you nice clothes and then he just dresses like like he's ready for a, a pickup basketball game at all times <laughs> she dro- she drops the act in the same scene yeah yeah in, in, yeah, in the, after, 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 yeah after the meeting, after when, meeting. She, yeah. when she yeah, gets the phone call from the kids that she wasn't supposed to get she is like being concerned parent with a totally different voice and that and they're like whatever yeah. you're going to go <laughs> yeah you know it would have been hilarious if she would have played had to play that character the entire time like that would have been actually funny. That's thinking way, <laughs> way too much. <laughs> they were going on vacation in Hawaii and said, "How can we shoestring a plot around this? Uh, we we're going to be in Hawaii for a couple of days." We need ha- how many times does Adam Sandler get hit in the nuts? Three times? <laughs> Four yeah. times? I that's, mean, that's... we we need to mention we need to mention okay. the all time greatest yeah. comment yeah. that's ever been laid on. <laughs> a YouTube video ever (laughs) was before, I think even before the movie had come out or maybe after, and we just wanted to watch the trailer because we had just seen the movie or something, but we go to the official trailer on Sony's YouTube or whatever. And the the first comment is, what is it? Uh, 
eight what was it like eight seconds in no nut shot <laughs> or like what was strange or what was strange <laughs> what was strange <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, was like, no uh, nut shot in the trailer. What restraint? <laughs> All right, Mr. Sam, we're gonna cut this trailer together and play. Whoa, whoa, whoa this is a nut shot. <laughs> Wait, a minute, you know, I'm liking the way that the cut of the movie's looking. You know, the, there's a lot of good parts in there, but you know what? I think is it's kind of light on nut shots. What do you think? I think hey, we're kinda, a Hawaiian film one. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna need to do some reshoots. Hey, be careful that. That bridge, you be careful of that bridge. What did he what, say? What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> like out of absolutely nowhere, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> like, they, they walk into the Chuck E. Cheese and the kid just runs into his ball. We used to love that one too, where <laughs> where a kid just immediately hammers him uh, in the crotch as he's walking in, like, all right. <laughs> he hit my pee pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was interested to hear Ryan's thoughts on the fifth element as well. <laughs> okay, why did you guys say that movie is good? <laughs> that was insane. Like it, it, it's like it. First of all, it's shot like a Power Rangers movie. Like it's it shot like super bright so with awesome. like yeah, like so you super cool when you so, when so you have incredible? like aliens or like clearly just like prop like. Aliens that waddle in like that, where there's a guy hey, pushing at least a cart it's behind CGI. it. No, it's not. At the beginning, the first series, the first, first of all, Luke Perry's in the movie for five seconds, and I was like, "Hey, Luke Perry's in this." He, oh, they kill him off right away. <laughs> uh, no, they're real. They're they're like physical, like fucking turd robot things that they clearly made and just like wheeled in there on a cart, and you're like, "What is this?" And usually, when you have like such horrible props, you just like shut the lighting down a little bit uh like you you dim the lights you do some effects so that you can't really see how pathetic the, the props are hey 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 the fifth element's pretty sick hey <laughs> you're, you're getting to some needy i guess stuff you here. know just because this isn't your idea of the future you know this is what the future <laughs> looks like ryan gotta and, understand <laughs> Bruce, so, okay so and once again maybe you'll have to explain it to me why does Bruce Willis immediately? So Mila Jovovich is, first of all, a horrendous actress. Second of all, she's not actually a female, right? It's like sex pervert uh, doctors or somebody, and they make the DNA remains of the secret society or whatever, they make that into Mila Jovovich, which conveniently they are like, Bring on the medical strips or whatever. Kyle's wearing no pants. <laughs> he's getting ready for his jack off. <laughs> he got up and he's like, "Whoa!" But yeah, they, he they make no. I just her, oh, I just I just I just I just had to yeah. They make her they make her into the woman, but she's not really a woman. And so immediately, Bruce Willis is like, "I'm in love with this girl." Like, tries to kiss her immediately, and you're like. She hasn't spoken any English. She hasn't said anything. Like, and he's like, I'm, you know, I'm really obsessed with this girl. Why? How? Like, what? Based on what? Like, it, I, I was like, am I? Did I miss a part where they had a scene together? Like, it, it, it was baffling. And then it continues the whole movie. You wouldn't and then, like, wanna, uh, you wouldn't want to hook up with a hot alien. He, but like, I get it, but he, it's just. And then, yeah, it was just one thing after another kept coming up, and it was just like while it shot super like bright and like a like I said like a freaking TV show for kids, and like Coolio's like cross dressing or and weird or not Coolio, Chris, Tucker. Chris Tucker Chris Tucker's like cross dressing and doing a weird affectation on his voice that's like borderline Ruby. offensive. <laughs> yeah. Like actually not borderline at all. <laughs> it's just offensive. And no they're way. like, what is this? <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it was probably the cheesiest movie I've ever seen. Like you guys cheesiest described movie. it like it was like a sci-fi banger. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> I mean, the what scene, do you the scene in the opera house? Whoa, you didn't like that? Comparable. What do you think is better? Cheese. What's the best sci-fi movie ever? 
I mean, uh, not the best sci-fi. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got a little bit of No, I just mean like a comparative. A I'm of... trying to think of like, oh, that was a good sci-fi movie. Uh, Starship Troopers is kind of shot the same way. Yeah, uh, but it's that would put that in there. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Like I don't a, know what I'm alien. Saying. I don't even yeah, know what I'm trying to say. Alien, oh, aliens. I don't even No, I mean, it's because Fifth Element has kind of a, I don't know. It's not like, I don't know. Those are like, have a horror aspect to them. But uh, uh, I don't even know what I was trying to say with like, trying to like compare or whatever. I also I like. I also like that Bruce Willis is balding, so he's like, I'm going to dye my hair blonde because that will that'll skew the eye away from what's going on up here. Uh, <clears throat> that'll do it. Well, there you go, Tyler. You got your fifth element opinion. <laughs> How'd you like it? <laughs> I, I loved it. I'm I so confused. I, I, I literally was like, I, I once again, I was like, am I watching a different fifth element? Is this the wrong movie? Uh, because these guys said it was good. 